Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Brenda from the Yellow Crayon Room and today we are going to do a hand print kite and I'm going to show you three different ways that you can do this. First, you can do it by tracing your hand and if you have a pencil I recommend doing it with a pencil but if you want you can take a marker and as the boys and girls know in the yellow crayon room, my favorite color is pink, so I'm going to do it with pink. And you can trace around your hand, and you could cut it out. Then, so you would trace your hand, then you would cut it out, and you would put it on the white piece of paper. And in the sake of time, I'm just going to leave it here. So then you would cut it out. If you don't have any construction paper, you could just trace your hand and put it right on here, like so. So once again, I'm going to use my favorite color, pink. I'm going to do it kind of at an angle this time. Of course, your hands are little. Mine is hand is big. And then you could color it in. I'm just going to make squiggly lines, but I would want you to color yours all the way in. And then, where's my black marker? I'm going to give it a tail. I'm going to give it a squiggly tail, like so. And then, you could take another color marker. Hmm, I think I'll use purple. So I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see. And then you can give it little triangles for the tail. Now your tail, I bet you could do better triangles than mine. And you can just fill them in. And go all the way to the down. And then you can write, I'm going to turn it this way, so you can see. You can write, what color should I use boys and girls? How about blue? You can write, hello spring on the top and give it an exclamation point. Now the third way you can do it, which if you have the paint is the most fun boys and girls, I'm just going to turn my paper over, is you have temper paint. You can take temper paint and a paintbrush and you can paint your hands. Now I'm not going to paint my hands all the way, but you take the paint, put it in a little container, I'm, or moms and dad, it's easier if you just put it in their hands like so, and then just spread it all out on their hand, and then, so you spread it out on their hands like so, and then let them put it on however they want on their paper, and then they have their handprints on it, and then you would... Take the mark, black marker again, make your tail, and this time instead of using a marker, you would just take your thumb, paint your thumb, and put thumbprints for the tail and then write Hello Spring at the top. I hope you enjoy this project, boys and girls. Till next time, bye.